So printmaking we're demonstrating today is called photopolymer, photopolymer plates. This is where we're using a process very similar to the photo screen printing, but this time on a little plate, and we print it intaglio method. So I'm starting off with a drawing, and I'm putting, putting a few tones in this. This isn't really highbrow art, maybe it's lowbrow art. No, it's funbrow art. Put it in the old photocopier. Pop down the old lid. I'm going to put a piece of clear overhead projection sheet in there. Reduce it a little bit. Hit copy. Here we go. You've got to make sure you use the right clear plastic too. Use the wrong plastic that you use for inkjet and it's going to up the machine and melt. There it is, isn't she? A lovely looking bait. Now, in the old dark room, I'm opening up a fairly old pack of photopolymer plates. Off. This usually comes with a piece of paper and then there's usually a bit of plastic on that. This, the plastic's raised up a little bit on one end, which makes me think maybe a bit of moisture might have gotten on there. So I'm going to put the image pretty much in the center of the plate, and if I have problems, I can probably trim off the edges. But still, I don't want to just waste a plate. But I do believe that moisture uh, can affect plates. There are lots of things that can affect this and make it go wrong. But, uh, okay, look on both sides. The toner on the plastic is sort of dull, so if it's shiny side it's the wrong way, you've got the dull side down first. This is a big vacuum press, it's a big glass attached to a vacuum, you clamp it down, the vacuum sucks all the air out and pushes it up against the glass tightly. Now putting on a light, sometimes you UV light, this time it's a big incandescent light. I'm sticking this on for about 12 minutes. And as you can see, the image is really close to the glass that's really pressed in. I don't want any light sneaking under the dark bits. The light's now hardening all the green you can see there, and all the black is not being hard. Just like photo silk screen. Enough light, now I'm going to wash it out. If I pull this off, you should be able to sort of see where the image has been burnt on a bit. You can just faintly make out the image of Bride of Frankenstein there. Yeah, baby, there it is. So that means that those bits are still soft and all the rest of it is hardened. I'll wash that off and the bits that have not had any light on will wash away and the bits that the light has hit will stay in. And that should give me my photo. I do this first bit of washing in the dark, then when I wash it out a fair bit I can stick the light on. And I try and wash it off until all the slimy bits come off. I don't want a slimy plate. After I've let it dry and get a bit of sunlight, for overnight at least, a good 24 hours, then I ink it up just like I would ink up an etching. And rubbing in the ink, wiping it off, I'm wetting paper, I put the wet, damp, thick paper, good paper, rag paper usually, in amongst the blotting paper. I usually do this just uh, as I'm inking up the plate, just to give it like about five minutes in the blotting paper at least. So back to the plate, where I'm just shining it off with a bit of uh, phone book. I find phone book really good for this. I'm really just taking off the surface. You can sort of see above there there's a bit of ink sticking. That's where the paper was upraised where this photopolymer plate was probably a bit old and a bit of moisture may have got around the edges. So I put it down, I'm going to put the damp paper on that. Above that comes down a blanket which helps press it all in. 
and now I roll it through the press and that should squeeze out all the ink that's trapped in all the little grooves intaglio print making and there you have a lovely but I can see that little line above there is a bit of a problem and I'm going to give it a bit of a trim great thing about the photopolymer plates even though they are sort of on a thin piece of metal you can basically just cut it with a pair of scissors it's so thin that's exactly what I'm going to do and always cut it very very carefully just take your time with this don't don't rush through this and hack it away just very carefully so back to inking up this lovely young lady back to the wet paper and the blotting paper again same process as before except this time hopefully that print's going to look a bit cleaner and neater through the press once more and let's have a look at this little lovely sticky bit and here we have her yeah, isn't she lovely? As you can see, that was a fairly easy way of getting an image onto a plate for reproduction. I do sometimes feel a bit cheated by the whole process though, it's like a reproduction. I think it's probably the difference between photopolymer and etching would be the same if you went to, say, somebody who does glass. The difference between actually, you know, bending and doing the skill of using glass to casting glass. It's that sort of difference where you're actually almost reproduction. Um, I'm probably going to continue on with this, maybe try and hand colour it and see what hand coloured print looks like. Somehow I just like to get my hands in and actually physically work on a plate in printmaking and I think that's where a lot of happy accidents happen where the photopolymer you do it and bam there it is. So each to their own. I do sort of like it, I probably will do more, but I, I'm, I guess, just a hardcore screen printer, printmaker, etcher, you know, I like to really just work on something over and over and get it perfection. I guess I could have done a nice still life like a bowl of fruit, but that's boring! I hope you're enjoying these different forms of printmaking. And if you like this one, you might like how to photo screen print from home. Check out this video here.